Hello and welcome to Common Guys. Today we're going to go over Backlash for WWE and we're going to look at the matchups and predict who's going to win. Also, we're going to do a little bit of recap on where everyone is in their feud. First up, we have Seth Rollins versus Omos. This is going to be a, a match that hasn't really been promoted much, but there's quite a bit of build for Seth. What happened was on Monday Night Raw, Seth Rollins got in a feud with Solo. Basically, Seth Rollins again is claiming that he is going to go after the heavyweight champion title that's newly introduced. Paul Heyman basically tells Seth Rollins, you know, that you're disrespecting the tribal chief because now you think since there's a new champion, you don't have to fight him. And uh, then that leads into a match with him versus Solo. The Omos feud is falling behind here. So, again, Seth seems to be in the crosshairs with the Usos and Solo. Ultimately, the main goal for Seth is to get the heavyweight champion title. And the way that match ended was, of course, Usos coming out to protect Solo. But KO, Sami Zayn, and the bro came out to help Seth. So here's my prediction for what's going to happen at Backlash. Seth is going over in this match. Seth, again, needs the momentum to have a title shot for the heavyweight championship title. And Omos is going to take the loss here. He is Seth freaking Rollins. And he's going to win this. Next up, we have Belair versus Sky. Sky is a great wrestler. She's an up and comer, but Belair is the Raw Women Champion. And even though she got drafted to SmackDown, I see that she's gonna retain her title. I don't see Sky beating her. If Asuka couldn't beat Belair, Sky definitely won't take the championship title away from her. So Belair is gonna go over in this match. Here is a very interesting match. It's Austin Theory versus Bobby Lashley and Reed. Now, personally, what's going on here, I think we need to really explore. Austin Theory gets the victory from John Cena. Bobby Lashley doesn't even get his WrestleMania event because, unfortunately, Bray Wyatt is sick or injured. I'm not quite sure what's going on with him anymore, but... Reed is inserted into a match because he's been slowly building up his feud with Bobby Lashley. As to who's actually going to win this, I think there's two possibilities. But I'll explain and elaborate. Austin Theory is on a heel run. So I could see Reed and Bobby Lashley doing most of the fighting. And then Austin Theory getting the victory, getting that heat of the heel. Or WWE allows Bobby Lashley to go over because he didn't get his WrestleMania moment. Personally, I think Austin Theory is going to retain his title. I think having him continue being a heel and maybe feuding with Bobby Lashley a little bit more and Reed being kind of the third wheel in this feud would be the optimal choice for WWE until they can get Bobby Lashley a good title run maybe even challenge Seth Rollins for the heavyweight title if it comes down to that. But I see Austin Theory retaining. Bobby Lashley, I think, can uh, go for the heavyweight title. Now, the next match is the six-man tag team title match. Usos and Solo versus Sami Zayn, KO, and the bro, Matt Riddle. Each man has something to prove here. Roman Reigns is coming back next Friday on SmackDown. How this match turns out will dictate how I think Roman Reigns is going to react to the Usos. Solo is going to have the big match tonight. And I think Solo is not going to get the pin. Solo will be either thrown out of the ring during the match and won't be able to get the save with against Matt Riddle. But... I think tonight is going to be Sami Zayn and KO's night. I think Jay is going to get pinned because it's building to that feud with Jay either being 
the sacrificial lamb for the tribal chief that he's going to pin all the blame on the Usos. Jay's going to have to defend his brother Jimmy because Roman Reigns is going to be very angry. Or Solo is going to see that the Usos are inferior and weak and not really able to carry their own. And Solo's ego is going to grow, realizing that he's going to be the guy or the next in line to be the tribal chief after Roman Reigns ultimately suffers his defeat. But ultimately, tonight is a night where Sami Zayn, KO, and the bro are going to take the victory. Solo is going to look great, but the Usos are going to get one of them. I think Jay will get the pin, where Sami Zayn is going to get the pin on Jay, more specifically. Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes. The match that is going to set Cody Rhodes' story and momentum We still don't really know why Brock Lesnar attacked Cody Rhodes, but Cody Rhodes has been poking the bear. He has been telling the world that Brock Lesnar is a coward and that Brock Lesnar is a cowboy. No, I'm just joking about that. He did actually say it was a cowboy last night, but a coward is most likely the theme of this story. Cody Rhodes here to prove something, prove something to the world. He has a chip on his shoulder. Lost at WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar won against Omos at WrestleMania. Tonight, Cody Rhodes needs to come out strong and powerful and show the world that, yes, he is here to finish the story. Yes, he is a champion at heart. And the best way to do it is get that victory over Brock Lesnar to recover from the Roman Reigns defeat. He needs to walk tall, proud, and he needs to give it his all because Brock Lesnar is going to be F5 City tonight. Uh, Brock Lesnar is going to really throw around Cody Rhodes, but Cody Rhodes needs to do the crossroad and get that victory. Damian Priest versus Bad Bunny. This is going to be an interesting one. Bad Bunny is going to carry the match by himself. Let's recap a little bit of what's going on here because a few storyline beats happened on SmackDown. First off, last night, Damian Priest doesn't show up to the show until the very end to beat down Rey Mysterio. But then you hear Bad Bunny's music play, and he comes out with the LWO. Bad Bunny comes out to save Rey Mysterio with the candlestick. He knows exactly who he's going for. He's going for Damian Priest. And as a reward for his loyalty... Bad Bunny joins the LWO. They stand tall and they stand proud. I think with Puerto Rico behind him, I think with the LWO protecting him from any Judgment Day interference, I think it's pretty clear. Bad Bunny's going to take this victory. He's going to be the guy of Puerto Rico. He's going to be the champion tonight, even though there's no title belt on the line. Bad Bunny is going to take the victory over Damian Priest. But it's not going to be all losses for the Judgment Day. Because the last match we have to go over is Rhea, Mommy, Ripley versus Selena Vega. This match, this build has been a great one. We got to recap a little bit of SmackDown because there was some added story to it. First off, so basically what happened was Rey Mysterio tells Rhea, hey, are you going to give permission for my son to be able to fight me? Rhea Ripley smiles and says, we'll make this a tag match. You and Selena Vega versus mommy, me, and Dominic Mysterio. I like how Rey even though he's being called the deadbeat dad by his son, is just showing that his son is totally incompetent and needs permission from Rhea Ripley to even fight. It's showing that his son is weak, feeble, and not the best wrestler, even though Dominic is actually a pretty good wrestler. And Rey Mysterio is just looking like a boss, like a true champion, and Rhea Ripley is the one that really is the leader of the Judgment Day. Dominic comes out there looking like he's about to win against his dad 
because he has Mami on his side and Finn Balor on the side of the ring. But what transpires is actually pretty funny. Selena Vega is able to throw out Rhea Ripley from the ring because Rhea Ripley ultimately injures herself against the ring post, giving Selena Vega the advantage and being able to push her out of the ring, leaving Dominic and Ray by themselves in the ring. Ray gets the pinfall on Dominic because, again, Dominic is not portrayed as a strong wrestler. He's more like a jobber of the Judgment Day. But Rey Mysterio is on a complete and total high right now and looking the best he has ever looked. And when the Judgment Day begin the attack on Rey Mysterio, Bad Bunny and the LWO come out to protect him. And to thank Bad Bunny's courage, Rey Mysterio gives him the LWO shirt. So... It's actually a pretty good ending to the story and the show. And with that being said, Rhea Ripley has lost quite a bit to Selena Vega and looked weak. There's no way that the woman SmackDown champion that just took down Charlotte Flair is going to lose to Selena Vega on her first match. No, Rhea Ripley is going to definitely win this. I don't think there'll be interference from Judgment Day. And since there won't be any any interference, there won't be any interference from LWO. As it stands, Rhea Ripley is going to win this. Thank you for watching. And comment the below what your predictions are for Backlash. Hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification button. And see you on the next one. Have a good day.